Hi, this is Carlos with Apogee, and in this video we'll take a look at downloading an API proxy. This is a pretty quick process, but we will use a couple of tools to help us out. If you don't have an Edge account, you can sign up at the link shown there. So let's sign into Apogee Edge, and we'll download one of the proxies we have created. Using the UI, the quickest way to get to the download is to click on the proxy that you want it to grab, go to the project menu, and select download revision. This will save a zip file that we can see has the content of the proxy. This happens to be a node proxy, so it's got the JavaScript as well as all the modules. So using the UI is very easy to download an API proxy. You may want to do this if you're transitioning or moving a proxy from a non-production organization to a production organization or from say your own personal free account into a, a paid org. If you happen to have a few proxies, uh, downloading one at a time is going to be kind of a time-consuming process so ideally we take advantage of the management API to do that. We can see in the documentation it's very, fairly straightforward to export an API proxy bundle. Here's a curl command that shows you an example of doing it. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Here I'm passing in the organization I'm using and I'm giving it the name of the proxy as well as specifying the revision. The trick is to include the format equals bundle query parameter and then I'm specifying an output file. Takes just a moment. Once that's done, I can see that I have the proxy and the same contents there, obviously. So if I did want to extract all of the proxies from a specific organization, I could use uh, curl commands like this one at a time, again, would be kind of time consuming. It's fairly easy to write a script. Uh, this is just a bash one-liner that will do the same thing. Using the management API to retrieve all of the available proxies in the organization and then grabbing the uh, most recent version of each one and downloading those in turn. And we can see it's going to run through all 83 of these proxies, download them one at a time. So that's it, downloading an API proxy. Thanks for watching.